but uh okay about that okay when you're sending ranged right you go cavalry wedge if you're not expecting to be countered because essentially you're going to have the range in the back in a line and they're going to be attacking the front line of whatever you hit if you run into infantry phalanx that's going to be a hard counter to this the reason you go cavalry wedge though usually is because you're going to have four front lines that the enemy is going to attack before they get to your range so even though you're seeing just random random calves and infantry essentially the best way to look at it is these two cavalry are the first line that's where the first hit that you you're going to get hit that's going to go to these two squads then they're going to go to the two infantry on the sides then the two cavalry in the middle and then the two infantry on the side so that's four hits that are basically going to be hitting what four troops so you take four complete hits from their whole army and you're basically haven't taken a hit that's why fluff troops are really important they have to attack four times before they get to your actual army if you go range or uh, infantry wedge you're gonna have the range on the side and eventually essentially what this does if you do run into like a phalanx that's uh, infantry to uh, counter you when you have them on the side like this, let's say you run into a, uh, a million infantry. When you have them like this on the side, you only have to go through half of it. So you only have to go through 500k of the infantry instead of the whole million before you start going into the next line, which in that case will be cavalry, which is what you want. So that's why cavalry wedge, infantry wedge, it's all very important because they do different things. All right, hopefully you guys uh, understood that little lesson there. Capish? Anybody? Anybody else need uh, anything? Do you understand? So if you go for anti-scout target, it's better wedge than phalanx? Generally, yes. This rally would be best pure range. Yeah, no, that's what I said earlier. But I, I don't think it matters. I think they're going to be cavalry up front anyways. Watch. Let's see. Range phalanx. Never mind. <laughs> so, okay. In this rally, if I had just gone ranged, completely ranged, no gladiator, no reptilian rider, none of that, this phalanx would not have mattered because they would have rushed out in an infantry phalanx. And because there's no infantry... Cavalry would have been up front, so it would have been better. But um, I just used my preset, so that's why I used it. But yeah, technically, a pure range rally would have been uh, better here. Either way, we were able to win. <laughs> I want to see my T5 in battle. Graham, how you doing? For mix set, will you go winter mitts or codex? Technically, it depends on your mix set, but I I would prefer the mitts over the uh, the codex for most of it. But it depends. Yeah, why was that start of the battle so laggy? Interesting. Oh 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 wait 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 wait! I'm gonna show you guys what I mean by show stats. I literally just showed stats. Are you? Okay, look at this. Remember, I am in... What the hell did I hit with? Cav Wedge, I think? I think. So I remember I said that they are going to need to attack four times before they actually attack your real army. Y'all remember I said that, right? So let's count it. Let's count it. Let's count it. So there goes the familiar. Okay, blah, blah, blah. There's the first hit. One. You see, the first one got hit. Two. There it is. Three. Four. And then now they're going to get to your army. Y'all see that? If you don't add those extra fluffs, your army would have gotten hit two, maybe three times already. And that could mean, a lot of times, that could mean the difference between you winning and you losing. So that's why that's important. And look at me attacking the range when I have cavalry right in my face. Hello? Oh, I hit it. 
Oh, okay. All right, let's see. Cavalry phalanx. So imagine if you would have gone infantry. Not only were you never touching the range, but you would have been hard countered. Hard countered. All right. So this is good. Yes, 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 yes. See, I knew, I knew one. I knew one. So, okay. Let me show you. Let me show you the battle real quick. Okay, in this instance right here, if range was going to be up front, uh, what, what would have happened is the cavalry would have attacked the ranged, obviously. And then when two of the squads were taken down for the range, and when I mean by two of the squads, I mean each... I'm going to have to show you all the phalanx uh, screen to show you that better. But once two of the squads of the range were taken out, they would then turn and attack whatever was next to them instead of continuing to, to attack the range. And that would have been either the infantry or the cavalry. That's why you would want to go in a wedge here. But because it was only cavalry up front, they never really got to attack the range, so it's fine. But let me, let me, let me show you what I'm talking about. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. So... They were in cavalry phalanx, right? Okay. So because they were in cavalry phalanx, their front line was all cavalry. All four squads were cavalry. The reason you hit range wedge is to have these on the side. And if for some reason you hit these, what's going to happen is these two sides are going to get taken up first. And then these two would come up in front of the range. So by the time you take out two of the squads of the range... All of these eight squads would be on your army. So once these get taken out, instead of continuing to attack the ranged, these will be in closer proximity. But if you go in a phalanx where they're going to be like straight like this, in a straight line, the issue you run with that is that they're going to continue to attack all of the ranged because they're going to be targeting all four. So all four of your, of your calves are going to be attacking all four of these. Whereas when you go here, each two of these are going to be attacking only one squad. So basically you double up on one squad. And then once they're done, they retarget. Whereas this, if you go in a straight line, guess what? This cavalry is going to attack this range. This cavalry is going to attack this range, etc. And they will not change targets until they're all wiped out. Comprende? Capiche? That's why a lot of times if you don't know what you're hitting, a lot of times it's not good to go phalanx. Because if you get countered, you're going to get countered hard. You see? If you go cavalry, this cavalry is going to be attacking this range. This cavalry is going to be attacking this range. So on and so forth. And they will not retarget until they're taken out. But if you go like this, these two cavalry are going to be attacking this range. These two cavalry are going to be attacking this range. And then once these two are get taken out, guess what? Since range doesn't move up, these two, I guess four, infantry and these four cavalry are going to be closer to your cavalry than their range. So they will not go to the next range. They will actually switch to infantry and calves. Ta-da! Learning with Avatrex. Um... Obviously, there is a, like like there are other things that go into it that can change things, but this is really how you should really be looking at it, at least from a beginning standpoint. That way, you can understand. Okay, if let's say they only have ranged, and you go in infantry, yeah, you you're still gonna demolish them regardless. But technically, if that's the case, you want to go with something like a range wedge, because you'll get an extra hit. Uh, taken away from your infantry, so it's it's a lot of little things that you need to learn But you you need to learn the basics at least, you know All right any question class <laughs> Any questions <laughs>